aka CR Honeybee versus STB. The Flash. Shed dinky ding. Martian Manhunter. I'm still not gonna do it. Still not picking. catches him what that connected that was amazing 30% off of that that was insane dashes in does get caught oh but drops the combo oh very nice conversion goes gets in the corner oh goes for the unclashable for 28 very nice Martian manhunter oh uses the wake up do you remember invincible wake ups Tries to catch the wake up. It does get caught. Dink looking very strong right now. But every now and then you run into Honeybee. Wow, that was beautiful. It ties it up for the most part. They're very, very similar on. Oh boy. This is going to be about 30%. Yep, exactly. Tries to teleport in. You're not going to get Honeybee with something like that. But does catch him with the low. Then goes for the overhead teleport again. Overhead again. Oh, but gets caught and punished this time. Ooh. Uh-oh. 19%. Oh, the wake up. Oh, here we go. He's going to go into trait. This is going to kill double battle. Oh, my goodness. That is unbreakable. You've got to remember, folks. Invincible wake ups. Honeybee goes up 1-0. Manhunter. Let me know, guys, if anything's too loud or too quiet. <laughs> All right, and here we go into game two. forgot about that he does have trade out got the long arms for just a little bit longer all right trade is dead flashes trade just about up if he does catch him he is gonna be going oh okay not for that part so he is definitely gonna save for this portion of the round gonna slow some time down here folks oh no he saves it oh because of the clash Really smart stuff. So, what Honeybee did just there was he intentionally didn't use his trait because he forced Dink to clash. So now, if he does get a get a like a whiff punish or any kind of solid punish, he's gonna be able to get 53% off of that trait. Might be even saving it for. Uh, yep, doesn't get it there. Catches him. Oh, doesn't get the conversion. Catches him with the overhead into the low. Oh, but he drops the combo with the treat. Dink trying to go in with the uh, with the zoning here. Oh, catches him with the inslide. I do think most of the DLC seems rather broken, guys. But that's kind of like in every game. Oh, catches him with the armor. This is gonna hurt. This actually could give him the opportunity he's looking for. Oh, reads that and then catches him in midair. Honeybee goes up 2 0. Alright, here we go. In 
to game, I believe we're going to game three. <laughs> Honeybee versus Shadinky Dink. Begin. Oh, wow. Catches him with the anti air. Oh, my goodness. This is me. Catches him with the poke. Tries to go for the overhead. Oh, he catches him this time, but doesn't get the conversion. Unbreakable. Unblockable. Game interactions, folks. Interactables. Interactables. Injustice did very well right up until MKX came out. The second MKX came out, Injustice died. Unfortunately. But uh, I do really love this game. And this game is absolutely great. I hope uh, maybe in the secret room bring back a little either nostalgia or uh, maybe a little bit more love for the game. Maybe a couple more tournaments we'll have it from, you know, if we can get some, uh, some people to be like, yo, we need this. But it's only going to happen if the players want it. You know? If the players don't want it, it's not going to happen. Alright, looks like Shinigini is forced to break here. Is he held back? He is. Gets a 30% regain. Gets caught by the overhead. Trade is out. Oh! Oh, catches him off of it! This is gonna hurt. That's trade. Oh, but he gets caught! No! The wager! He's gonna get a fair amount of health back. I don't think Dink is gonna risk anything here. He's gonna save that meter. All but tied up here, folks. Oh, gets caught. What's zoning. Oh. No punish. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, he gets him with the freaking armor wake up. And Shadinky Tink takes a game. Is this the beginning of a comeback? Just Dink. We're just calling him Dink for the rest of the night. Begin. Ooh, he
go AFK. You can still quit, you know. Making a fool of yourself. Said he 